Today I'm going to be showing you guys the top tweaks I use every day on my iPhone. All the tweak names and sources are in the description and there's also timestamps throughout this video so you can skip to the tweaks that you want to see. But before we get started, please consider subscribing to the channel, it helps me so much. You can always unsubscribe and it really really helps me so please subscribe So this is my list with all my tweaks in my settings and the first tweak i'm going to be showing you guys today is called 3d badge clear this tweak allows you to clear notifications from apps just by 3d pressing over here so there's going to be this option right here you click clear badge and boom all the notification badges go away Ares is a beautiful replacement for siri it makes this so much smaller and it just looks so much better you can change a lot of things there's a lot of different settings and a lot of different ways so you can pick card which goes in the bottom which is what i have or banner to have it just pop up over here like a notification banner i personally prefer card because sometimes the banner cuts off the text so card is my choice auto unlock x is the must-have tweak that automatically unlocks your phone whenever you just look at it so you don't have to swipe up i just look and boom it automatically unlocks this should honestly be implemented into ios battery ramp puts your phone into a hibernation mode whenever you plug it in to charge so it charges your phone so much faster this is also a must-have for everybody you just plug in your phone let me show you guys really quick how it works so boom it pops up the battery ramp and you can enable it and if you enable it it'll turn off your phone the screen's gonna be black everything's not gonna be working but it's gonna charge your phone so much faster better cc6 makes your control center much nicer it puts all these toggles right here on the top your music is just more spread out and it just looks a lot nicer. I personally prefer it much more than the regular control center. Digital battery simply adds a number to your battery icon. Instead of having the battery icon here, it has the number of percentage of battery that you have left. And it also has a lot of different settings. You can literally customize it to however you want. You can change the color, you can do whatever you want with it. So if you want a good tweak to change your battery icon or to just personalize it however you want, Digital Battery 13 is the way to go. Evil Scheme lets you change what default app you want to use for your maps and also for your browser. I don't like using some safari nor the apple maps so i use evil scheme to change the default browser that i use and also the maps app that i use this is a functionality coming to ios 14 but if you're on ios 13 you can use evil scheme exec time gives you the exec time of a notification or an email or a message instead of giving you something like two days ago or you know on wednesday it just literally tells you exactly when you got a message or an email or a notification or a phone call facebook no ads just does what it says it just removes the ads from facebook flame lets you add multiple sources at once to your cydia so sometimes you're watching a video on youtube and the youtuber content creator left all the sources in the description and you can just copy all the sources and paste it into to flame if you had them in your clipboard it would show paste all sources and you would press that and then it would add all the sources at once with flame groups enables group in the messages app so i have friends family school work and others here in my messages app it's super useful handcuff takes a picture whenever someone gets your passcode wrong or tries to power off your device it saves the picture of the intruder to your gallery and it also sends an email and a picture to your phone that's why i'm covering my device because my phone number and my email are down there this next tweak is the most asked about tweak here on my youtube channel and it's a tweak that lets me have all these icons here on my home screen these are the settings and before i show you guys the name let's go right into an ad and i'll be right back if you didn't get an ad right now consider yourself lucky but going back the name of this tweak is home plus pro it literally lets you customize everything 
anything you want on your home screen you can change the location of the icons you can literally change anything you can think about you can change with this i'm not gonna mess around too much because i like the settings i have on right now but you can literally change whatever you want you can add more rows you can remove rows but i'm just gonna go quickly through my settings so if you guys want to have your settings just like mine you can just copy so top off of that i have at negative 40 and left offset i have a zero vertical spacing i have a 61 horizontal spacing at 10 rows nine columns five icon scale i have a 58 and these are my toggle settings the next tweak is instagram no ads and it just remove ads from instagram it also lets you save media from instagram which is pretty useful lpm auto lock time lets you change the time it takes for your phone to automatically lock whenever it is on low power mode so i have it set as one minute just like it is usually but sometimes i don't want it to lock so i can change it to never or to whatever time i want messenger no ads remove ads from the messenger facebook app no clipboard blocks certain apps from seeing your clipboard so like whenever you copy something so you can paste it somewhere some apps will look at that clipboard without the need to and that's just a privacy concern i have and specifically tiktok does that so i only have it toggled on for TikTok so they can't see what I am copying because I know they use that to do social media mining on my data. No square mode removes the square mode from your camera app. I have that because I just don't see the point of having that mode and sometimes I just take a picture on that mode by accident and it cropped the picture for no reason because you can always just crop it afterwards in the photos app anyways. Pencil charging indicator will show a pencil charging indicator banner right here just like whenever you're using an iPad and you plug in your pencil it will show it but now for whenever you plug in a charging cord just like this let me show you right here percent notify will notify you whenever your airpods are at five percent quit all lets you quit all the apps that are open with one button and it does not quit apps whenever they're playing music so if you're watching a video on youtube or listening to music it's not going to quit that app it's going to quit everything but the apps that are playing music send delay add the delay to your messages whenever you're sending them so you can cancel them if you typed something by mistake without having to you know freak out about it so i type you can cancel it before it goes but if you don't press it then it just sends the message really useful tweet shadow is just a bypass detection app that protects your phone from being detected of having jailbreak from certain apps short look will show a notification like this on your phone whenever it's locked it looks pretty nice short emoji adds these icons right here to the bottom of your screen it's super useful and i use them all the time after you get them on your phone you're never going to be able to live without it it lets you copy cut paste and just do all these different things right here at the bottom of your keyboard and not only that but it also has a lot of different settings that you can mess around with shuffle is a tweak i use to organize my settings so it adds these three bars right here one for the tweaks one for your apps and one for your system apps and this is customizable but i just keep it how it comes because it's just really really useful to have all your tweaks right here in one place siri ttl keeps siri listening to you for a little bit longer than the default time sometimes you say something to siri and it just goes right away into not listening anymore and i like having a little bit more time so here i can set the duration to be longer or shorter snowboard is what i use for my theme and right now i am currently using the theme kind of stock but i have also been using big sur a lot i really like it and i tried out felicity Pro, but I didn't really like it. I've been really enjoying kind of stock and this is the theme I'm using right now. Spring to Mice lets you literally customize your phone to another level. It's literally one of the most useful tweaks out there, but I personally only really use it to have folders in folders. Tap tap flip lets you double tap on your camera to flip it, just like on Snapchat. TikTok God is literally the best tweak for TikTok and it lets you remove ads, download any video without watermark, and just do so many things this is a must-have if you are a heavy tiktok user titan is the best picture in picture week that lets you watch 
any videos from YouTube, Netflix, or any other website out there, anywhere you're watching videos on your phone with Titan, you can have a picture in picture of that. We're here on Netflix now, just so I can do a quick demonstration to you guys. So if I get out of the show, it goes right here into a picture in picture mode. So I can still scroll through Instagram while I watch my favorite TV show, which is not this. I just clicked on this randomly. Tweet count is one of the most useful tweaks if you have a lot of sources and you want to get rid of them. It will let you know how many tweaks you have installed from a specific source. So for example, this one right here, Alt Repo, I have one tweak out of the one tweaks that they have in here installed. Um, and all these other ones, it tells me how many tweaks I have installed. So if I, by any chance, have one that shows me zero out of X, I basically have this source installed for no reason. So I just go ahead and delete the source. Tweak restrictor is just another jailbreak bypass tweak. Twitter no ads, remove ads from Twitter. Unlock sound lets you add customizable unlock sounds to your phone, like the old default unlock sound from iOS 6, I think. I love it, so satisfying. Vinyl makes a simple and sweet adjustment to the music app on your home lock screen. It makes it smaller and just much more minimalistic. I literally love this because now, whenever I'm listening to music, it doesn't cover up my whole lock screen and it's just amazing and the last tweak is youtube reborn and if you don't have this tweak installed already leave a like and watch these other two videos right here about jailbreak tweaks <laughs> Pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, pop it up.